Now it's Sean staying on Raw or going to SmackDown. Dollar dollar. Are you going to break the news to him? You bet. You're traded. You're gone. What? You are now SmackDown property. You ain't gotta say it like that. See, man, this is a good thing. Teddy Long wants you bad. Oh, does he? Through his lineup, so this ends up being nothing but roses. I hate you. roses. So. Yes. Good luck. We don't need luck. Since we tore through Raw and remained the WWE champion while being undefeated. I don't think SmackDown's gonna be much of a problem. Anyways, who's even the best they have here? Finley. Now let's check these messages. Alright, we got some from Teddy. Let me be the first one to formally welcome you to SmackDown, dog. Just to put any fears to rest, I'm naming you the World Heavyweight Champion. I expect big things from you in the future, as you take our brand to new levels. Careful what you ask for, Teddy, because he may be too big for you to handle. Now we got something from WWE Office. A salary bonus. Oh, so we get a $5,000 bump in our salary. So maybe there was a discrepancy with that $1 raise or something last time. Well, despite that, let's just move on. Now I can't wait to see what our first storyline is on SmackDown. And in the magazine, we see it says, Mr. Uh, Redacted, Dreamer, Mutual Admiration Society? I don't know what that means, but I'm sure we're gonna find out. Oh, now we got three more messages. Holla champ, check it out. I'm hooking you up with Kane in a number one contender match this week. If he wins the match, which is non-title, you understand, you meet him at Armageddon. Except, it'll be for the World Heavyweight Championship, you dig? Alright Teddy, I don't mind taking on the big red machine. Kane really wasn't much of a threat in 2008. I know you worked with my brother Shane last month and I hope you'll do the same for me this month. My dad still hasn't learned his lesson and if he's throwing his weight behind DCW, then that's your next target. That's fine with me, just so long as you let me throw some weight behind you. <laughs> and now for the last message from you know who. Wanna know a secret? The reason ECW impresses me so much is because guys like you impress me so little. You've got so little to offer me, no depth at all. I've had bets with my son about you in the past, and now I get to show you the true value of a dollar, because that's gonna be your salary until Armageddon. Don't spend it all at once, chump. So, is that why they gave us a dollar last time? I mean, now it's kind of irrelevant since they gave us a $5,000 pay rise, so I don't understand. Please make this episode make more sense than the last one. I'm begging you, don't do this to me. Survivor Series is come and gone and we're less than a month away from Armageddon. Could you sound any less excited? And we've got a number one contender match for you tonight. Yeah, That's involving these tonight, two. The future champion goes one on one with the current champion. I'm sorry, JBL. Future champion. Champs, no pushover. Yeah, well, neither's his opponent. This is gonna be a heck of a fight. Why are you talking so slow, JBL? Are you okay? Did anyone even check to see if this guy was good to do commentary tonight? I really don't think so. And why the hell does Mark Henry look so small? What's up with that? Anyways, let's get this going. We got a monster to beat. You superstars can channel the raw aggression of this man right here. Uh huh. And lucky for the champ, this is a non-title match. Lucky for why, JBL? Are you implying that Sean's gonna lose? To this? The only thing that loses to Kane is his hair. And I still can't believe these commentators barely have anything to say. Is SmackDown really that boring? Don't answer that. I remember. Not tonight, but if he loses tonight, the rematch is at Armageddon, and it will be for the championship. Well, you ain't got to worry about that, because HBK ain't about to lose. And damn, I just gotta tell you, that World Heavyweight Championship looks so good around his waist. I think I like that design better than the WWE title design. Now looking at this match objectively, Kane has a clear weight advantage, but will that be enough to help him? against the undefeated Heartbreak Kid. Something tells me it's not. Nice okay, maybe I'm wrong, what the hell was that? Kane quickly going to work on the Heartbreak Kid. Okay, no, I guess he doesn't. Now Sean answers back with a strike, and so too does Kane. All right, Kane, I might have underestimated you a little, hold on. It seems to me that you must really want a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship. You do want a shot at the title, don't you? 
Well, show me something. How bad do you want that gold, Kane? Do you want it as bad as you wanted, Katie Vick? I guess not. Shawn Michaels with an amazing neck drop. And he's going back up top. The Heartbreak Kid is unstoppable up here. And we see that with a leg drop. Shawn stores that finisher. He's got something evil in mind for Kane. And here it goes. The choke slam. And it's going to be all the way from or to. Uh, yeah, I don't know which one. Hell. Now let's see if that's going to be enough to pin the mayor. Oh, hell no, it isn't. The damn dude threw Sean all the way back. All right, Heartbreak Kid. This man is strong, but you're faster. Okay, all right, hold on, Sean. All right, what do we got? What the hell? Sean just hit the referee. Now we see Kane throwing some hands, but Sean reverses. I don't know what Sean was thinking. Oh, wait, I think I know. He's getting a weapon. No, Sean, don't turn to the dark side. Damn it, he does. I guess now, at this moment, this will be the moment that he's known as Darth Michaels. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> no, no, we're not calling him that. I don't know what's going on in my head right now. My head is probably as messed up as Kane's right now. Both of us have orange head damage. All right, Sean, picking up the big red machine. He's got one more move in mind for him, it seems. And here we go with the complete shot. All right, Sean, take it home. That's right. He hooks the leg. This has got to be the end. And it is. Well, Kane, I'm sorry to tell you, but you ain't getting that title shot at Armageddon. No, no, no. Why do you guys sound so dead? Are you not excited to be here? He sure did. What? Oh, okay. Well, he's not really that evil anymore. After he took the mask and stuff off, he was never the same. Anyways, I think what the commentator said is that no matter what, we're facing Kane at Armageddon. Which, I don't know how I feel about that yet. What the? Okay. Lies. Ugh. Please don't. Somebody come get him. I never thought I'd see ECW join Vince McMahon's special club on live TV. Kiss my ass club, right? And this chump is no more. What the hell you gonna do? Man, I think you put your head way too far up a certain booty. Yeah. Go ahead, send your boys. I need the warm up. Oh, damn. He said, you smell like shit. <laughs> Two weeks remain until Armageddon. Is it really? JBL at ringside, and did you see how the champion disrespected Mr. McMahon and ECW? What disrespect? No problem with him talking trash to ECW, Michael, but insulting the chairman is His career unaliving. That word is not allowed on YouTube. the champ here tonight. If I were the champ, I'd be more worried about what Mr. McMahon's got in store for me. Actually, I am a little worried. Uh... Judging by some of the things he's had in store for other people as punishment, I don't know. Maybe this wasn't a good idea after all. And here comes CM Punk, a superstar who's been making quite a name for himself in ECW. Uh, yeah, 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 okay. Punk, which is exactly what he is. I hope the champ wipes the canvas with this kid. Me too. Oh, that's right. Okay, they only give one line apiece for these guys. To be fair, this guy is really not that important. He's definitely not important enough to try to exploit for your declining ratings, despite him not working for your company. Right, Tony? With only a couple of weeks between now and Armageddon, you think that the champion would be more focused on his championship match, not ECW. How do you know he's not? Like some sort of wacko conspiracy theorist. We know you are. Smell a setup, Michael. Or maybe that's just your cheap cologne. Well, despite everything JBL said, you can take it all with a pinch of salt. This wacko thought he was good enough to call himself a wrestling god. Unfortunately for him, he ain't never been anywhere close. 
Now, despite that fact, I got another one for you. Now that we're in Chicago, Illinois, it's time to beat down the hometown boy. And for some reason, his arms are already in the yellow. Uh, I'm not too sure about that one. Shawn Michaels takes him down with a neckbreaker drop. And if you didn't already know, this match is a no DQ match. Right now we got Sean pulling out that steel chair, so you know, he means business. He's gonna take advantage of these rules, or lack thereof, and he's gonna wear out CM Punk's ass. He's going crazy with that steel chair. Damn it, dude, get better aim. Alright, CM Punk's got that steel chair, and it looks like Sean's gonna have to come out there and meet him. And yes, he does. He socks him right in the noggin with that steel chair. And here we see this pathetic move, the go to sleep. Now Shawn Michaels got a finisher of his own. Give it to him, heartbreak. Show him what a real finisher looks like. Yeah. Now that Shawn's got the early lead, he goes for the cover. All right, Shawn, in this. Oh, so this guy can take a steel chair shot to the head, a GTS, and a sweet chin music, and still kick out. What the hell am I watching? Now Sean drops a knee on that head, and that head is already red. So now Sean, let's put him to bed. And we see him hit a Famouser. Don't even worry about the sweet chin music anymore. This is gonna be the end. And yes it is. Well, Punk, so much for you defending the honor of ECW. I don't think he feels like he got the respect he thinks he deserves. Does it look like I give a damn? that the SmackDown fans were going to show him any respect. Right. That's pretty unlikely considering he's an ECW superstar. Well? Not to mention a snot-nosed little punk. Oh, hell yeah, JBL. This is not the last we've seen of ECW. Probably not. Especially if Bishop Man gets his way. And he always does. Uh, that's so unfortunate. Well, what can you do? Anyways, despite that low note, Shawn Michaels is now on SmackDown, and he is your World Heavyweight Champion, which means you actually have a reason to watch the show now, and I'll see you there next time.